The motivation here primarily in your view? Well, obviously, the uh, the main opposition party, the the DPJ, is absolutely on its back at the moment. Uh, so, it, it obviously the uh, the right thing to do. Um, looking back over um, all Japanese history, back to um, 1885, uh, Abe is the third longest serving prime minister, and the the trouble is. Um, that they tend to have a, a sort of five-year itch. And about the stage that the Prime Minister is in at the moment, then they tend to, to run through troubles. So um, the two that lasted longer, one had repeated cabinet reshuffles, but really the best thing to do is to hold an election. So uh, constitutionally, they have to have an election by uh, December next year. There's a party leadership election in September um, next year. And it makes much more sense to hold an election now when the, the economy is is strong when uh, corporate profits are doing uh, really well uh, and when his, his support ratio is, is picking up so nicely. So it came from 39% in uh, July up to 50% uh, um, to now. So it, it makes a lot of sense to run it now and particularly with, with what's going on in North Korea, the party will rally around him and the chances are that he'll win with something of a landslide. The question is just how much of a, a landslide. <clears throat> well, will it lead to more procrastination with regard to economics? Well, I think the, uh, the foreigner is pretty um, critical about abenomics. Look, politicians, particularly those like him who have been out of, um, out of power for a few years, need to sell their story really strongly. Uh, if he doesn't um, immediately come up with a, uh, with a miracle economy, well, you've got to remember that the, the economy is about, uh, about companies. Companies are doing actually really quite well. If you look at the profitability of, uh, of corporate Japan, it went in a very simple sine ways, uh, wave for uh, for 50, 60 years, and then suddenly, over the last uh, four or five years, it's broken out. And it's about four percentage points, um, uh, pre-tax uh, pre profit margins, about four percentage points over its previous history. So it's a total breakout under, under Abenomics. But will it, um, will it be strong enough to do things? Well, look at the support ratio for his party. The support ratio is 44% is for the, the LDP. Its biggest competitor is 8%. Is At the moment, it, they've got uh, two-thirds um, majority in both houses of parliament so they can ram through absolutely anything they want. All they need to do to ram things through is a, uh, is a majority. So they're quite a long way beyond, uh, beyond what they need to do that.